everybody, thank you so much for watching and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be swatching all of the Color Sensational Vivid Hot Lacquer Lip Glosses. And before I get into all of the swatching, I wanted to talk about the lip glosses itself first. So they come in 11 different shades, everything ranging from beautiful nudes up until your deepest, darkest brownie purples and also some bright colors in there as well. Well, the price point for these lip glosses are pretty affordable. For my South African viewers, you will pay around 150 Rand per lip gloss. And then for my US viewers, you will pay roughly $8. And for my UK viewers, around £7. So I think that's pretty affordable for a drugstore lip gloss. The packaging of the lip gloss looks like this. It is a acrylic plastic packaging with a black lid and the size for me is perfect so handbag friendly and you know just to take one with you just in case you need to touch up so I really like the packaging and one of my favorite things is definitely the wand it is so flexible and the shape is just so so perfect you'll see more towards the end of the video with the darker shades I kind of use the sharp tip to line out my lips and then I fill them in so I really really like the wand and the smell of them isn't too in your face but it has a slightly sweetish smell but nothing too crazy and overpowering so that is basically the packaging and before we get started with the swatches I do want to say that it is a lip gloss it's not a liquid lipstick even though it might look like a liquid lipstick it's definitely just a lip gloss with amazing pigment and amazing shine so it promotes itself as a high impact gloss with like extreme shine. So I'm excited to share all of the shades with you and let's jump into it. So they have four nudes in this collection. The first one is this one which is called Tease and it's a beautiful slightly blush undertone lip gloss. This second nude has a little bit of a rosy undertone and it's called Charmer. Also amazing pigment and amazing shine as well so that is called Charmer. And then we have a brownier nude which is called Unreal and I really really like this nude. Um, it's a very very pigmented and a beautiful brownie undertone perfect brownie nude. So this one is called Unreal. Next we have a pinky rosy touch nude. So this one is called Too Cute and I also really like this shade. Um, probably too pink to my liking but it is a perfect must have nude in your collection and this one again is called Too Cute. Moving on to the colors, they can't skip a bright Charisse pink. This one is called Sassy and it's definitely a sassy pink. It's very, very bright and vibrant. But I do want to say that this pink stained my lips a little bit. Um, but I'm sure that with every, you know, highly pigmented gloss um, that has a lot of color, they would probably stain your lips. So I just wanted to say that this one is amazingly pigmented, but it does stain your lips a little bit. If the skin around my mouth is a little bit pink or patchy, it's because I have to reapply concealer in between. So please just ignore that. We have another bright color and this one is a orangey red. It's called So Hot and it's definitely a hot color for summer. It is a beautiful orange undertone red and so, so, so pigmented. But it also stained my lips a little bit just in case you were wondering. We have another red and this one is a true deep red and it's called Classic. It is a beautiful deep, deep, deep red and I really like this shade, especially if you're in winter time. Um, this is just so pretty with an all black outfit. So again, that is called Classic. Next one is a true brown and this shade wasn't as deep as I expected it to be. It's called Petro and it's a true brown shade. I kind of wish it was a little bit deeper than it ended out on the lips but still a very very pretty shade. 
Hitting on to the purples, we have this beautiful Charisse-like purple and it's called Obsessed. I kind of wish this one was a little bit more pigmented than um, it turned out on the lips. But regardless, it's such a beautiful shade. Again, a very beautiful deep purple called Obsessed. And now for a little bit more of a lumoey purple. This one is called Royal and it's definitely a royal purple. Um, it's not something that I'm particularly used to or something that I'll wear in public. But if you're rocking like a unicorn makeup look or something for a festival, this would be so pretty. So again, that's a purple called Royal. And then finally, I'm so happy that they came out with a deep dark purpley brown and um, this one is called slay it and it's the perfect deep dark purple and i just love dark shades on the lips not that i would wear it in public that often but i mean for an event or for a certain look and especially with blonde hair it just looks so amazing so those are all of the vivid hot lacquer lip glosses from maybelline i really hope you enjoyed this video i love all of these shades there's not one shade that i dislike there's maybe a little bit less pigment in one or two of them that i would improve on but i genuinely love each and every shade and of course I have my favorite and it is these two over here that I have on my lips so firstly I went in with Charmer which is the second nude in the collection and then I just went in with a little bit of tease right in the center just to brighten everything up and just to give it that two-tonal nude but of course I would love to know your favorite so please leave me a comment down below let me know your favorite shade on me and then if you would please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it I would really appreciate it <laughs> Tastes very good. My lips are numb at this point, and my mouth is purple. Last one, please, Jesus. Ugh. Subscribe to my channel, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>